Well, welcome to the show. This is the Ask Dr. Wilson Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick Wilson. Hey, I've got a question for you. Have you ever felt frustrated with modern medicine? Maybe with the treatment of the symptoms rather than the, the root cause or just the lack of appreciation with the body's ability to heal itself. Like that's not recognized in modern medicine. Well, there's a reason for that. It was the Flexner Report. And it was a huge event that really rattled the foundation of natural healing in America. The year was 1910. Abraham Flexner, under the guise of the Carnegie Foundation, they released a report that really shook the pillars of medicine to its core. And Flexner, a man who's not even medically trained, declared war on natural therapies. And he was pushing this agenda of mainstream medicine. And the so-called report, this it was brazenly supported by the influential elites. It ruthlessly butchered this rich tapestry of healthcare diversity that we once had. And what was the aftermath of the Flexner report is an absolute slaughterhouse. Over half of the medical schools in the United States, many of them were promoting more of a, what do you call, holistic approach. They are systematically shut down. Shut down, mind you, not because that they were harmful or ineffective, but because they didn't conform to this narrow and elitist view of, of science propagated by Flexner and the corporate or overlords. And among the hardest hit was actually the field of chiropractic care. And chiropractic care, as you know, is an approach to health centered on the innate healing capacity of our own bodies. And the Flexner report painted chiropractic care as this pseudoscientific hocus pocus cult-like profession, a claim as outrageous that is baseless, but this cruel narrative has over the century really led to and still managed to cloud the public perception of chiropractic. So why? Why were they so threatened by chiropractic? And the answer lies in the money-grabbing world of pharmaceuticals. The Flexner Report was a windfall for the pharmaceutical industry. It stifled competition and it was nurturing an unhealthy dependency on these artificial chemicals and these invasive procedures. And so if you were an investor into that, then this was a great day for you. And what we got was this healthcare system where the average person is conditioned to think of medicine as a synthetic pill, an intrusive therapy of some kind, or some type of harmful radiation. Instead of harnessing the natural healing powers of our own bodies. And let me tell you, this narrative has robbed millions of people of the chance to experience the life-changing benefits of chiropractic care. The body's innate ability to heal itself through the nervous system, the adjustment of the spine to remove interference within that nervous system, you're not going to find that perspective in modern medicine. It was systematically and intentionally eliminated. And one of the questions I often get is, why has my doctor never told me about this? Well, just realize that there was a history there before all, before all of this, and we're here to challenge this now and to really de defy the status quo. We have the research. We have the success stories. We have the resilience to really restore chiropractic care to its rightful place in the spectrum of healthcare. But it all goes back to a grassroots effort because it's time to take control over our own health. It's time to take control over our own well-being and really break free from some of the narratives that have been put out there and per perpetrated by some like the Flexners and the Flexner Report and the Carnegie Foundation. And it ultimately begins with you and I and being confident in our choice in our healthcare decisions. This is the Ask Dr. Wilson Show. I am your host, Dr. Nick Wilson. Hey, make it a great rest of your day and be intentional. Make it a great rest of your life. We'll see you next time.